Today we will see some examples on the coordinate system and linear graph. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the shown figures. The graph shown shows two figures, quadrilateral LMNO and triangle PQR. Let us find the coordinates of vertices of quadrilateral LMNO. We see that the x coordinate of the vertex L is 2 and y coordinate is 4. Hence, the coordinates of the vertex L are 2 and 4. Similarly, we see that x coordinate of vertex M is 0 and y coordinate is 2. Hence, the coordinates of the vertex M are 0, 2. The x coordinate of vertex n is 2 and the y coordinate is 0. Hence, the coordinates of the vertex n are 2, 0. Similarly, the coordinates of vertex o are 4, 2. We can say that the vertices of quadrilateral L, M, N, O have coordinates 2, 4, 0, 2, 2, 0 and 4, 2. Now, find the coordinates of vertices of triangle P, Q, R by yourself. Next example, Nimrat goes to school every day on bicycle. On a day, it took her 25 minutes to reach the school, details of which are given in the following table. Represent the given information in the form of a line graph with appropriate scale. Is this graph a linear graph? A line graph represents data that change continuously over time. Data is displayed by dots or points in the graph. All points are joined by line segments. If all the line segments are part of the same line, then we can say that it is a linear graph. Let us draw a graph based on the information shown. Draw two mutually perpendicular lines on the paper. The horizontal line x-axis and the vertical line y-axis. We will show time in minutes by taking 1 unit is equal to 5 minutes scale on x-axis. Similarly, we will show distance on the y-axis by taking 1 unit is equal to 0.5 km scale. We will now plot the points for different situations. A distance of 0.5 km has been covered in 5 minutes. We will mark point P on the coordinates 5, 0.5 which will represent this position on the graph. To show this on the graph, we move one unit to the right from the original point. Then, one unit will move upward. This will bring us to the point P. Similarly, coordinates of other points Q of 10, 1, R of 15, 1.5, S of 20, 2, T of 25, 2.5 can be taken here. Pause the video and think about their position. Let me tell you, we can represent them in this way. Now we will connect all the points in the sequence according to the line segments. We have represented the distance travelled by time as a graph. All the line segments of the constructed graph are part of same line. So, we can say that the obtained graph is a linear graph. Today we have seen examples on the coordinate system and linear graph. In the next video, we will see some more examples.